Hi friends, Amy started in the kitchen back with you for another great recipe. Today I have another one for my summer dips series as part of our six weeks to summer countdown. I feel like you can never have too many amazing dips that you can be thrown together in five minutes over the summer because it's such an easy app to bring over to somebody's house or just throw up for a snack after a busy day. And this one will not disappoint. It is a gorgeous feta roasted garlic and za'atar dip, which is fun. So if you're not familiar with za'atar, it is a Middle Eastern spice blend, really aromatic, really mm, yummy. You see it now more and more added to hummus and oh, you could have it with bubble ganoush, all different dishes. I like to scatter it across eggplant, grilled eggplant, grilled zucchini. It's one for the cupboard for sure. It does contain sesame seeds, so allergy alert, but awesome. I've just toasted mine up a little bit. I took about a tablespoon. I've toasted that up ahead of time. Always toast your spices ahead of time if you're not going to be cooking them in the oven because the oven would do the same thing, but the heat really gets those aromatic oils going and excited and brings the flavor forward. So it took like two minutes, just toasted them up till I can smell them. And now it's super simple. Just grab a little food processor. I love my mini one, but a big one will do. I have about a heaping cup of crumbled feta. So I'll just add that in there. And to this, I'm gonna add a little bit of Greek yogurt. So we're really gonna make that feta nice and creamy. So I have a little bit of Greek yogurt. I have about a third of a cup. And um, I'm just gonna add, I'm not gonna add, yeah, I'm just gonna get it all in there, why not? So I have about, about a third of a cup, okay? Quarter cup, third of a cup, anywhere in between there. You don't want it to be too creamy. Now, back with the roasted garlic, stovetop roasted garlic that we made. You have so many uses for this, so there's no excuse not to make it. I'm gonna take about three of those cloves and about a teaspoon of the oil and put add that. So nice roasted garlic, start with that. If you wanna add a little bit more after you blitz it and taste it, go for it. So, next, I'm gonna take about a teaspoon of that toasted tatar and add that in, about a teaspoon. I'm gonna put more on top, but I just wanna layer those flavors and get a little bit in there. I'm not gonna add salt, and I'm not even gonna add pepper to this yet. I will probably add a little bit of spiced pepper when I garnish, but that's all we need for now. Then it's just a matter of blitzing it up to the consistency that you want. Taste and adjust, super simple. This looks amazing transfer it to a bowl spread it all out and out, out out and we're gonna just finish it off with a sprinkling of the rest of that gorgeous sitar that way every time somebody scoops they're gonna get a beautiful taste a little bit of fresh parsley and a tiny bit this is what I like to do I like to take the back of a spoon and just kind of swirl this all around a little bit. Get the parsley in there, swirl it around. And now we've made a little crevice and I'm just gonna take a little bit of that roasted garlic oil to finish it off. Okay, and if you have like a nice dark green olive oil for a little bit of contrast, that is great too. A little bit of chili flakes if you want. I'm gonna probably put some Aleppo pepper or some Urpa, Middle Eastern chili blends. And that is it. Ooh, grab the fresh pita, grab the crispy pita, grab your favorite gluten-free crackers and just go to town. That is so yummy. All right, if you want this recipe and the rest from my six weeks to summer countdown, we're in the last week. So we're, it's gonna be the last chance to grab all the recipes. Make sure you click the link below. And it, the fun is not stopping. We have covered up so many great recipes. And the next step, if you wanna keep cooking with me, is I have a great workshop coming up where I show you how to put everything together, cook once, prep once, and then eat for the whole week for, from that prep. So it's like you become this amazing assembly chef, cooking everything, prepping everything in one day, and then the rest of the week you assemble meals quickly, five to 15 minutes. Send me a direct message if you're interested in that. I will have more details at the end of the week and I'll see you back in the kitchen soon.